So, uh, what brings you out to Mount Hood? I'm here because I think that global warming is not only an environmental issue, it's a humanitarian issue. I want to be able to live a life in a way that doesn't detract from the ability of future generations to enjoy the planet as I have. Uh, I want my children to be able to watch the wildflowers break through the snow in the spring like I'm able to do right now. I want them to be able to have fresh water, clean air, and good food to eat. And global warming poses a threat to all of those things, so I'm here to ask our community to step it up and to help us create a better future. It's really hard to place a value on the environment in a lot of situations, and it's hard to find a price and make um, the environment into a commodity. For example, just the innate beauty of being on Mount Hood is such a benefit for so many people, but it's really hard to attribute a price to that that can fit into our economy and um, factor into politicians and congressmen's decisions. What we should be working for is trying to find a way to value our environment. Um, the water quality that we get from Mount Hood and the importance of having these trees around in the forest that preserve this water quality, the biodiversity, the recreation that beautiful places like this provide. And as long as we can keep on figuring out ways to fit in the environment into our capitalist structure, there we can probably figure out a way to help preserve it and, um, and stop climate change. In April of 2007, a group of students from Portland, Oregon, went to Mount Hood to create an educational film about the effects of climate change on their local mountains. The action was in cooperation with the National Step It Up Project, where over 1,300 simultaneous events would occur on April 14th to raise awareness and action to fight climate change. Mount Hood is Portland's backyard. We're going to have water problems. We're going to have um, ski seasons that are shortened. We're going to have the effects on the local economy and the people who live here. Um, and it's, you know, global warming. And, you know, sure, you can make personal changes, but it's time we come together as a community and make changes. Mount Hood's glaciers are especially vulnerable to global warming because they are at lower elevations and are closer to warm ocean weather than other mountainous regions. Living in an atmosphere that is already warmer, they are that much nearer to the point of no return. Glaciers in the northwest and nearby Canada are melting faster than any other mountain glaciers in the world. Each year, Mount Hood's glaciers contribute about 4 billion gallons of meltwater to the surrounding region. This water replenishes the supply for Portland and provides local farms with a much needed source of water for summer irrigation. Endangered species like the salmon and steelhead find rare habitat in the crisp streams and rivers fed year-round by Mount Hood's glaciers. These fantastic rivers also provide recreation in the form of water sports, fishing, and hiking. They drive turbines that generate electricity for our homes and businesses. Glaciers cover 10% of our Earth, but store about 75% of our world's fresh water. They act as climate indicators, telling us whether our climate is cooling or heating. The seven largest of Mount Hood's 11 glaciers have already shrunk an average of 34% since the beginning of the last century. Since 1982, Elliott Glacier, Mount Hood's largest, has shrunk 30 meters in depth and lost half its volume. In order to stop this accelerated decline of this priceless natural resource, action must be taken now. Step it up and make a change. Time for our politicians to really step it up. In Congress to step it up. The National Step It Up Project, which is demanding an 80% reduction in carbon emissions in the United States by the year 2050. I care about all of this. I don't want a vista like this to go away, and I want it to be here for my children and their children. I'm here um, in social solidarity with everyone 
um, around the nation and around the world really to talk about global warming and its effect globally and also locally. Without the snow, there would be no wildflowers, there would be no trees, there would be no animals, because the snow provides year-round water for those special creatures that make nature the magnificent thing that it is. I think it's time for us to take responsibility uh, for our actions of industrialization. Global warming is really something that we just can't afford to ignore, you know? It's mainly going to fall on the shoulders of my generation. Global warming is something that's challenging humans' ability to exist. It's a question of whether, you know, the Portland area gets the water that it needs. Individuals really only make up about 32% of total carbon emissions in the United States. The other 68% are corporations. For the future to curb our CO2 emissions, we really have to think creatively about solutions for the emissions problem. Wind power and solar power, and those two energy sources are really important right now um, because they are low impact, uh, sustainable. We need to really start pushing zero emission cars, uh, no more fossil fuel infrastructures, definitely no on liquefied natural gas. It's, it's just another problem that waiting to happen. And it's time that congressmen and politicians realize that our economy, our entire way of life, can't continue without the environment. I don't think that climate change and protecting the environment should be a polarizing issue. This is something that is affecting everyone. I know that humans are causing climate change, and we vote, and we know who causes it, and we want to see change, and we want to see change now. Hold corporations accountable and shut the fossil fuel industry down. Make those changes in our larger community that we've all started to make as individuals. We need real leadership from the people who are elected officials. You're never gonna know what you're losing unless you experience it. So come out here, play in the snow, take a little hike, have a picnic. You, you possibly could have a life-changing experience.